uh, I've also managed to get a few uh, corporate clients mm -hmm. just by going out and just trying to share mm -hmm. my work. Uh -huh. So interesting story. Mm -hmm. If you go to the interviews tab, uh -huh. uh, you can click the interviews tab. On the interviews tab, there's mm -hmm. there's uh, there's this uh, YouTube show that I was trying to do mm -hmm. called uh, Hustle Heaven. Mm -hmm. So Hustle Heaven mainly was to just uh, share stories of how entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, make it out to be where they are. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's this one specific guy called Geoffrey Mulay. Mm -hmm. He he's the founder of Tanda. Mm -hmm. And then he also founded Inkisha, if you mm -hmm. guys have heard about that. Mm -hmm. It was like a social uh, innovation kind of. Mm -hmm. So he was using uh, brown paper bags, mm -hmm. but then branding them mm -hmm. and giving them to retailers, mm -hmm. like uh, small businesses, for free. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they could use that instead of paper bags. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in how he, how he comes up with those ideas mm -hmm. and then even how... Now he's making money. He's making he's he's making hella money. He already made money with that uh -huh. and built another company out of that. Right. See. So the and uh, the, the endless possibilities yes. in this country right now. Yes. We should not be complaining. Kuna kazi, kuna because you've had the experience. You've built something for yourself and on your own. Yes. All right. So uh, there's this phrase as well with so many creatives. Uh, currently, they say, "My CV is on my Instagram," or "Instagram is my CV." Is that the case with you as well? No, um, my CV is on my, I feel like my, my website does more for me than my Instagram. Mm -hmm. And also, I just have to speak for myself because mm -hmm. not everybody is going to check out your Instagram mm -hmm. per se, unless you have like a very big following. And as you've seen me, I, I'm not, I'm not like the, the type to like follow a lot of people mm -hmm. Hoping that they following me, follow me, follow me back, mm -hmm. and just to get like you're building an organic audience. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to build an organic audience and mm -hmm. just trying to let the work speak for itself. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah. So um, I, I think uh, my work is my CV. Mm -hmm. that, that's your that's, work is your CV. Yeah, that's why you I'm don't saying. shrink it to something in particular. Yeah, your work is your CV. Yeah. Whatever your work is is where your CV is. Yeah, so as long if as it's you on your website, if it's on your YouTube, it's, if it's on your Instagram, exactly. your CV is there. Yeah. All right. So are you going to practice telecommunication? Um, I don't think so. Maybe if I if I make a lot of guap, then because uh, <laughs> I'm still interested in it, and uh -huh. a lot of my friends are uh, saying, "Man, we don't have jobs and all that." Mm -hmm. So I mean, if I if I make enough grab to start a company mm -hmm. that could do, I want to make money. So mm -hmm. I mean, yes. So money is the motive. No, no, money is not motive. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, look, uh, if you if we're talking about money, right now I'd be looking for a job uh -huh. that can like I can do an eight to, eight to five that I'm sure by mm -hmm. the end of the month I have like a. 20G somewhere or 30G mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. But then for me, it's more of self-expression, mm -hmm. right? So that's why I said, if I make a lot of money out of this, mm -hmm. I could use that to like start up something that could help other people. Because mm -hmm. if them, their self-expression is through like uh, gadgets, like through making devices and uh, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. making websites, mm -hmm. just creating in that. Facilitate them. Yes, facilitate them. And oversee. Yeah. Using your knowledge. Yeah, exactly. I get it now. <laughs> I get it better. Be uh, very well explained. All right. So um, working in this industry with creatives, uh, there are a lot of egos going around. And uh, you seem like a laid back person. How do you manage to handle this, especially working with artists? I mean, uh, react re the way you react to a situation mm -hmm. is key. Mm -hmm. And for me, usually, um, Sometimes I go, like I, I explained to you how I shoot earlier. Mm -hmm. So you see, working with, working with artists is, is very difficult because most of them, mm -hmm. they have this uh, very big like vision, mm -hmm. you know? They see a lot of videos on YouTube from mm -hmm. international artists mm -hmm. and they're like, yo. So they have a vision like this, this size yeah. with a budget this size. Yeah, with a budget <laughs> this size. <laughs> All right. If you feel me, but... Um, what 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 I try to do is mm -hmm. just like let them express themselves mm -hmm. first. Like you you express yourself as as as, as well as you want. Mm -hmm. What I'll I'll do on my end is mm -hmm. just try and 
uh, do my job just because my job is to film, mm -hmm. right? So when we're at a shoot, something comes up like you're not you're not getting this shot of me. I'll say, okay, it's cool. I'm getting that after this. Uh -huh. It's just how you control how uh -huh. you control your. So it's how you react to yes. every situation. Yes, exactly. All right, so you should not be the type uh, to always antagonize. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that is how you've managed to to understand the artist and manage to survive. Yeah, so another thing mm -hmm. is um, with the artists that I've worked with, uh -huh. most of them, uh, they like to they like to have things go their way, uh -huh. if you understand what mm -hmm. I mean. You're, you're, an, you're an artist. You're an artist. I'm an artist, so I understand, yeah. yeah. We have a vision and we really, really like to stick to it. Yes. And... Uh, s s Sometime, if not most of the time, it doesn't seem like you're capturing the vision I have. If you're a if you if you're a camera person or if you're a director, yeah. so most sometime or most of the time, it doesn't seem like you're getting what I want until I, I get the end product. Yes. So uh, sometimes you have to understand us. But <laughs> so um, uh, well, how how to how to work around that is just um, just give uh, the people you're working with space. Mm -hmm to just be themselves. Mm -hmm. Like maybe live in self expression. Mm -hmm. So like as long as as long as uh, as long as we, we have like a, a vibe, a connection, as mm -hmm. long as I explain to you that and you understand that mm -hmm. if you let me do my job, mm -hmm. you'll get the best. Mm -hmm. It's it's usually when people don't let me do my job. That's mm -hmm. when that's when I even get like a little bit frustrated and uh -huh. I, I'll be like, oh man to help with to this. Help with this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, in this day and age, uh, information age, we have so many social media handles and video sharing is, uh, is a very important aspect of every social media. Uh, even the ones that started without the feature now have that option of video sharing. I don't think there's a social media without video sharing. So uh, how, does, how has this impacted this field for you guys? So, um... I feel like sharing is just, it's a tool mm -hmm. that can be used very well, mm -hmm. but still, your work is what will speak. Mm -hmm. So like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much, how much, how much you, you hype yourself up, like mm -hmm. say, like if I was coming to this interview, I'd have posted on Instagram, like let all everybody know, yo, I'm going to be on Y254 in the mm -hmm. morning. But that finally this yeah, and that finally, I mean, my um, work is this the haters you've been talking this yeah, and that uh -huh. growth progress you know, uh -huh. that kind of stuff. <laughs> I get it uh -huh. but like if people go and look at my work after that uh -huh. and doesn't reflect the, the all hype, the hype all that the you're hype giving that is it. behind uh -huh. it uh -huh. that's like zero work that's wasted energy. so your message to the people is focus on the work the yeah, product is the most important thing and remember what I said before. Uh -huh. Like I'm not yet there. Mm -hmm. I don't claim to be the best in mm -hmm. this game. I like there are so many people out here in the country, not mm -hmm. even abroad, mm -hmm. that I look at their work and I and I feel I feel like uh, I feel like I need to I need to up my game. You need to up your game. You power up your laptop very fast. Very fast. <laughs> and you see, it's just that that kind of attitude that mm -hmm. uh, should keep on like driving you. Yes, there's social media. Yes, mm -hmm. you can share your work. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but, but with what you said, how it helps us is mm -hmm. just to put our work out there. Just to put your work out yeah. there. All right. So uh, there's so many aspects of business and uh, social media, still back on social media. Uh, social media has made it easier for everybody to advertise. Like even farmers can now capture their goods and put it on social media. Uh, uh, corporate guys, shops, supermarkets can can create some content, some video content. How are you reaching out to these people who have not seen this opportunity and just create something for them? Yeah, so um, I think I'll even jump ahead to some questions that you've not even asked. Mm -hmm. So that's thank you like very much for that, helping. That, that's like even uh, the biggest challenge mm -hmm. for me perso personally, because mm -hmm. approaching brands via social media mm -hmm. when your social media account is not very high, mm -hmm. like me. Uh -huh. I, be like, I believe that I do very good work, uh -huh. but my social media account isn't very high. Because mm -hmm. it's so not your focus. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, but I'll, I'll DM, uh, let's say, a travel agency, tell them, like, I have this idea of I want to film for you, like a travel video that you can use to attract more clients mm -hmm. and something like that. But then they'll be ish ish about it. They'll be fit for Because of the following. Yes, because of the following. Mm -hmm. And also because they haven't seen 
something of the sort being done yet by myself. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't think uh, companies, uh, small in, uh, small businesses, mm -hmm. are the are the are the best people to go to mm -hmm. for this kind of stuff because big businesses are already in social media. Mm -hmm. So I'll be look, looking around town, just walking shop to shop, even for like clothing stores and mm -hmm. like apparel stores, trying mm -hmm. to pitch pitch to them ideas of how. In my Instagram, I think there was like a video of uh, some girl, a friend of mine. We shoot, we shoot like sample videos of what we'd like to do for clients. To do for clients, yeah. But then I, I think they're, they're really not, not catching up yet with that. Mm -hmm. And I also think like the people managing these businesses, mm -hmm. they're not into social media. They're from a much. different generation. Yes, they're from a different generation. And mm -hmm. they do not understand how impactful this could be for their businesses. Mm -hmm. So I think like one major challenge for like creators, uh, mm -hmm. people who make videos, mm -hmm. for example, is that uh, the, the, the corporates, no, not the corporates really, co because corporates are bigger, mm -hmm. but the businesses, small mm -hmm. businesses that really need our help mm -hmm. are not ready to uh, take that leap of faith mm -hmm. and you know, just try and try out these ideas that you're pitching to them. Mm -hmm. That's like the biggest hurdle. That is the biggest hurdle as a creative, as a filmmaker, as a videographer. Yeah. Uh, the people who really need your services don't really understand it. They what is understand. the solution to this? Like, is it teaching them or is it like... Uh, I mean, teaching them won't help, mm -hmm. but just showing them the impact it could have mm -hmm. by just doing more and more mm -hmm. videos of this. With the people who are willing, maybe. Yes, with the people who are willing. Uh -huh. And also, it's just a matter of uh, trying, just keep on trying because no, you, you won't get the, the, the yes at the, at the first go. Mm -hmm. But there's just that one person that sh will say, okay, yeah, shoot this video for me. Because me, how I do it is um, I say, I, I go to our company and say like, oh, okay, I, I want to do this video for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, since you don't have any proof of concept, mm -hmm. I'm going to do for you the first video for free. Mm -hmm. But then other creatives do not want to do that because they think, mm -hmm. okay, if I do this video for free, they'll want the next video for free and for mm -hmm. free. But, then but you have to the, make it clear from the jump. For th but then here's the solution. Mm -hmm. I'll do this vi first video for you for free. Mm -hmm. But then the next video, you guys will have to, will have to uh, come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. Facilitate or pay or... Uh. Exactly. So like if you don't like the video, well and good. Well and good. I won't disturb you. It was good practice again. for me anyway. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's just a matter of trying over and over and over, over again and over until and you over. get that one client. Uh -huh. But by the time you get that one client, mm -hmm. your skills are up. Mm -hmm. And then you make a good video, mm -hmm. they share it, mm -hmm. every other company now is on your back. It's all about growth. Yeah. All right. So uh, as we come to the end of this, uh, videographers have been compared to Mafundi. <laughs> your video will be ready by tomorrow. <laughs> Send me your email. <laughs> it will be in your drive by this time and this time. Yeah. You call tomorrow at that time, Nimteja. Is it something that is happening first? Do you admit that this is happening, even if it's not at Popa Films? Yeah, that's that's common. That's very mm -hmm. common. Because you see, um, all right. Why can't they just say the truth then? Me, me, I'm usually very honest. But uh -huh. it's it's very common with uh, people who are just starting out, uh -huh. and it was a problem for me when I was starting out. Uh -huh. And it's usually this thing of. Um, you you set very high expectations mm -hmm. for yourself mm -hmm. that you don't actually meet, mm -hmm. and that's something that you should stop if you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should stop setting very high expectations for mm -hmm. yourself. You see, um, there's 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 the the ego in yourself mm -hmm. that always wants to express itself, mm -hmm. but so sometimes you'll say, ah, by tomorrow, yeah, I'll be having this edit done, and then you get to the editor, you're like. First of all, you get to the editor, copy the files. Uh -huh. You have to like pre-render. Uh -huh. You start editing. Okay, you can't find the music. Uh -huh. Lights go off. Uh -huh. okay. What will I tell my client? And then sometimes there's just a block. Sometimes, sometimes you get to the editor. A, yeah. There's a block, and you told the client you are going to be ready by tomorrow. How exactly. do you cap this? You just have a timeline that you know for sure, for sure. I can't be. I cannot not be done by this time. Yeah. So um. When you're when you when you, when you've uh, progressed much more into the game, uh -huh. you tend to have uh, a lot of work mm -hmm. uh, in between like each other. Mm -hmm. So say this week I'd be shooting a video tomorrow, mm -hmm. but then you have another edit. But then I have this edit today. Mm -hmm. So what you should you should just try to prioritize, mm -hmm. right?
So how I prioritize is uh, by how people pay. Mm -hmm. So the, so that just the it's it's on a first come first serve first serve basis. So basically, it's just like a uh, one week after the shoot. Mm -hmm. It's one week that you in in one week you'll get your work. Mm -hmm. But if you if you if you if you delay on payment mm -hmm. and there's somebody I did for work tomorrow mm -hmm. and he needs it by Thursday. Mm -hmm. I make sure by Thursday that guy gets his work. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just on a first come, first serve basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. The last thing is uh, artificial intelligence is taking over. Yeah. Uh, there's a prediction that in 20 years, some jobs are not going to be existing or available. You've heard this, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's uh, people are speculating that we are going to be to be having an automated uh, video editor. And uh, we are going to be having cameras that are smart as well. Yeah. So uh, do you think the human is still going to be needed when it comes to this? I mean, that's already happening. Uh -huh. uh, you have this uh, equipment that's coming out that's like very precise. Like this, mm -hmm. the Bolt, the mm -hmm. camera that uh, is uh, computer. Uh, you, have, you have to use a computer to, 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 to run it. To yeah. run it. Mm -hmm. It's like AI, but... Mm -hmm. You, ha you as the you as the editor or camera operator mm -hmm. have to like input the movements that goes into the camera. Mm -hmm. So for film, film is an industry where the stories that have to be told mm -hmm. come from humans. Mm -hmm. So I don't think in film will ever be replaced by machines mm -hmm. because it's us who, who are telling the stories. The stories. Yes. Machines can never tell stories. They can't. They can just assist in telling yes. stories. So we'll need them, yes, mm -hmm. but they won't take over. They won't take over. Yeah. You're positive, you're confident <laughs> that you're going to be having your job in 20 years. Yeah. All right, your camera is number four. Uh, your social media handles and how they can get to do business with you. Yeah, so um, for working with BOPA, mm -hmm. just uh, go to bopa.co.ke, mm -hmm. B-O-W-P-A.co.ke, mm -hmm. or you can drop me a DM on Instagram, B O W P A dot C O or Twitter you can also drop me a DM uh B O W P A underscore C O. Alright. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming through Bopa. We appreciate you. Keep pushing for the game, keep representing the culture and keep uh documenting the culture as well. Okay, thanks. Amazing. Yes, so we have come to the end of this. This is the third interview of the day on Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y in the morning. Uh please be sure to interact with us on our social media handles at White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag entrepreneurship Tuesday. Don't forget the hashtag Y in the morning. And please never ever forget to tell us where you're watching us from. We're not done yet, so don't touch that out. Don't go nowhere.